Bienvenidos a mi casa, ID. Good to see you. This is my dining room, my formal dining room. It's one of my favorite rooms in the house, definitely because of the detail. This amazing ceiling, it's all hand painted and it brought this room to life. I think another one of the special details of the room is that tapestry is 18th century French. And I think all the colors bring together the whole mood of the room. I love to collect china. One of the most important things in entertaining is putting a lot of effort in the details, making people feel like they're eating something special, looking at something beautiful. And I think that china is what helps me achieve that. And these cabinets are perfect for that. Take a look. Wow. And this is only the beginning. I have more. <laughs> And of course, another super important room is the kitchen. I'm Latin, so we love entertaining with a lot of food, a lot of friends, and we're always here. It's hard to take the people out of the kitchen, even though I made most of the room very comfortable. That was the idea when O'Hara and I decided to create all the little different rooms. But unfortunately, people still don't want to leave the kitchen. I love the counter, the white awnings. This magnificent stove is La Corneau. I don't know anything, anything at all about it because I do not cook. I don't want to learn to cook, but my son Manolo is great at cooking and he said that this was what I needed in the house. So here it is. I only care that it looks amazing. Here we are at the family room and way in the back is the formal living room. I love it because they all open to the backyard, which is my favorite thing about the house. Every room opens to the pool and the backyard, even when you're upstairs in the guest rooms. And it's also perfect that this room opens to the second floor where all the guest rooms are. So every time something is happening, everybody can check out that they're not missing on stuff and they just take a peek and they decide if they want to come downstairs to join or not. And here is where we have parties and where we sit to watch TV and where all the drama happens. I kind of like started collecting crystal birds because I love birds and I love crystals. And then when I learned that they existed together, I was like, oh my God, that's like my favorite thing now. So if you guys want to send me something, send me a bird made out of crystals. My whole life, one of my, um, how Americans say, bucket list list, it was to own anything that I could afford from Fernando Botero, one of the most amazing, prolific artists in Colombia and in Latin America. And I always dreamed of having one. In 1983, he started painting the Matadores, which is the bullfighters. I was still living there in 1983. I was still very young. And when I saw it, I'm like, one day maybe I'll get that one because he's known for creating these very big, voluptuous figures. But there was something about the Matadors that I was very attracted to. And I still have that picture when he came out in a newspaper in my hometown in Barranquilla. And then last year I got the real one. Here it is. And this one is one of the most important corners of the house. Where are you? Here. Is where happiness leaves the bar. What do you want? So when I found this house, it was horrific. It was like a castle in Transylvania. But when I walked outside and I saw this garden, I knew this is where I wanted to live. 
this outdoor area is an extension of the house, which is to me the most special place in the house because of the energy, the colors. I drink coffee here, I bring my lunch in here, I bring my friends, meetings, everything. There's something about this garden that is really inviting and people come and they don't want to leave. So when that started happening, that I realized it's so difficult to get the people out of the freaking house, I realized that we had done a, a great job. All I want to do when I am at home is relax back here outside and I usually sit in that corner and drink coffee and I play with my son's dog and I mean I'm like Don Corleone. I sit there and everybody comes and talks to me and I receive all my guests, everyone from that corner, from that couch. And the pool area is super important because from every bedroom you see the pool, you see the pool house. I wanted it to give you a feeling like you're out in the Mediterranean, like in Italy, like you're in a villa, in a hotel. And it was very carefully how we decided to pick the plants, whatever was going to be created in the hill. There was nothing in the hill when I got the house. So I had to start from scratch. And I created this a little bit of a tropical, I want to say like environment, because most of these plants are very beautiful tropical plants that are not exactly supposed to be in the Mediterranean, but, you know, it made me feel a little bit like I was in Colombia. Well, and this is, you know what this is, where the good times happen, all the sleeping. Eight hours. I love this bedroom, it's super cozy. It's a lot of light that comes in in the morning. It's perfect, I feel comfortable, I feel sexy. I feel everything in this bedroom. I've always had a thing for four pole beds and I think this one is very special. I love the color, I love the textures. I thought that it was gonna be perfect for the room. I think it looks great with the house and it's sexy. I love fireplaces. Even though I live in California, I hate heaters. I can't have heaters on. So when it gets a little bit chilly in the winter, I prefer to put the fireplace. Not only because the heat is better, but it's also, it makes the rooms very beautiful. The lighting is beautiful when the fire is on. Well, and that's not any fireplace. It's from the Waldorf Astoria in New York, and it was something special. The designer, O'Hara, and me wanted to bring into the room, and she found that. And we thought that was it. We don't need anything else. I loved working with O'Hara. She kind of saved my life because I was like in a little of a crossroads. I was, it's either I'm going to hate this house or I'm going to love this house. What am I going to do? I don't want to move in here because I don't think things are coming out the way I wanted. So finally I found her and she helped me unravel everything that was wrong with the house. And this is a little sitting area in the bedroom that is super practical because sometimes the bed is all perfect and I don't want to ruin it during the day. So what I do is that I ruin all this and I lay down here. This arch is amazing. This is definitely the most beautiful bathroom I have in the house. I think the combination of colors, the beige and the gray is like really unexpected. It's perfect. I mean, look at the view, look at the bathtub, the view from the bathtub. It's perfection. This is where I actually really live, in my closet. This is where I spend most of my time. This is like a, a girl's girl's dream. I was thinking about this closet for a long time because I love everything that is, you know, organized by color. And Linda Cooper Smith designed this amazing, amazing closet for me. And I try to keep it as organized as you see it, 
but sometimes it is hard. You know how girls are. I never knew that I needed to see my bags so organized like that. I used to have them all like stacked together. So now it's very easy to know exactly what I need, but I'm still late. All this stuff in the counter is very special for me. This is something that I bought at an antique shop in Paris. And this is a picture of my brother who passed away and my favorite cousin who passed away. So this is an important picture for me. And then this picture, it was when I was young and fresh. Bye, Edith. Thank you for coming. <laughs>